Hi everyone, I'm Carlo Bova from Downtown Music here in Sydney, Australia. And today what I want to do is actually get you started playing guitar. Hopefully you may have got a guitar quite recently for a present, uh, of a relative or whoever from the family. And what I want to do is get you started playing it as soon as possible. Okay, so if you're a beginner, just a kid and you've just purchased a guitar or mum and dad's just purchased a guitar, they've probably picked up a guitar that looks similar to this, which is a nylon string guitar. Or you might have an electric. Now this all applies for any type of guitar that you may have bought. The first thing you gotta do is tune, tune the thing up. And now for a nylon string, this is in tune. I've tuned it up roughly. As you can see, I've got a little headstock tuner there on the guitar. Let me just quickly, if you've got a pen and paper, let's write down the names of the notes, starting from the thinnest string to the fattest string, because you're gonna to need to know that to tune the guitar up. Okay, so before we get started, uh, we're gonna to have to tune the guitar up. Very, very important, okay? Now that might take a little while if it's got nylon strings, but let's, let's get started. So first string mm -hmm. is E. Now the first string is the thinnest string. That's E again. Next is B, followed by G, followed by D, followed by A, then last but not least, we've got another E. Okay, so that's a low E. Now quickly kids, if you want to just quickly remember that, uh, all I could come up with is uh, Easter bunnies get dressed at Easter. So let's start that again. So from the top string, Easter bunnies get dressed at Easter. So if you use the first letter from all that sentence, they're the names of your strings. So Easter is E, bunnies, B, get, G, dressed, D, at a Easter E. Okay, moving right along. What I've got in my hand here is a bright yellow pick or a plectrum. Now, for today's exercise, we're just gonna hold it between those two fingers. And if you don't wanna use a pick, that's okay by me as well. All right, so I'm gonna say, how do we hold the plectrum? I just hold my plectrum like that, okay? Moving again into your hands, upside down, like that, but whatever, Whatever, whatever you feel comfortable holding, as long as it's in between those two fingers. Okay, next, we've got six strings. We're gonna play the two strings in the middle. And we're gonna play them together so they sound like that. Okay, we've got four fingers on this left hand. One, two, three, four. We're just gonna use one finger today for the sake of this exercise. So use your first finger, so we can all play something within a few minutes. Ready? Now the song I'm gonna teach you how to play is obviously Smoke on the Water. Now with one finger. I want you to play the two strings. Now the strings you're playing are the G string and the D string. And using one finger, we're going, that's first fret, second fret, third fret. These things are called frets. We're gonna play just before the third fret and we're putting our finger, first finger, on the two strings in the middle. So like that. So open it should sound like that. With... I hope you've all got that. So this is what the exercise is gonna sound like. Check this out, it goes like this. What I'm doing with my right hand is actually plucking the two center strings. If you want to hit them that way, get with a downward stroke with the pick, that's cool too, or just like that. Now kids, I'm just going to quickly show you, I'm going to put it like this. In case you don't know how to hold the guitar and you haven't got it in, on your right leg like that, put your guitar down like this. Everyone's going to be killing me for telling you to do this, but who cares, I just want you to play Smoke on the Water in the next few minutes. Here we go. So. Once again, I'm using my, my plectrum and my second finger, playing those two strings. My first finger, so it's one. Two. 
Okay, so let me just run that by you. It's actually open, two strings open, then third fret, then fifth fret, then open again, third fret, sixth fret, back to five, then open again, three, five, three, one. Okay, so for the last time, it goes. I'll turn it around, so we go. Now, if you want it to sound a little bit better, if you've got someone else in the room and they just want to play this top note, which is a G note, and just pedal on it, going. Two and three and four and while the other one just goes okay I'm gonna put it put this one down and play it on a steel string quickly for you keep watching keep watching don't go away now if you've got a steel string guitar it might sound something like this hope this is in tune once again same position third fret fifth fret Hopefully you've got that down, okay? Hopefully that hasn't taken too long to play that. Now if you've, you've got that and you're pretty bored, just quickly, here's a Chinese thing for you called tuning. You can do this on the first two strings. Okay, so just go to the fifth fret and just go. And there's a nice little Chinese tune for you. So that's fifth, third, open, and third. I'll do it again. Now don't go, because I'm finishing off. Check this out. I've got the appropriate guitar for Smoke on the Water. Now if you put a bit of distortion, I'm just going to say goodbye to the, with this bit of tune. So I've picked up a beautiful flame guitar. This is called a Minaret guitar. Pretty cool looking guitar. And guess what I'm going to play for you? Smoke on the Water. <laughs> Guys, keep rocking. I hope you can play guitar in that first 10 minutes or whatever. And I'll see you soon. I'm Carlo. I'll be back to teach you more. I'll see you soon.